wandering winter back with more in the um, in the rebuild series and today I want to focus on the effect of cantrips for the rebuild deck cantrips um, help the rebuild deck in a number of ways uh, silver starts to become a marginal card for rebuild because you're unlikely to be able to get to province but you are still um, well wanting to add something to your deck but the cantrip is also going to draw a better than average card because you want to play your rebuild first and then your cantrip so that you know that there's one fewer green card in your deck when you play the cantrip but you can also do some things to manipulate where you are in your shuffle um, so you usually play your rebuild first I guess there are some instances we should note where you don't do that so uh, that's something to note um, so merchant and magpie both fit this role and they're both okay to start with um, I should do the math to know how much this oh my goodness let's turn that to never exchange for here um, how much this is going to affect stuff again I would probably go with delve here on four you don't want a merchant before you get any silvers obviously I'm going to try the magpie here I'm really not sure how much if at all it actually helps but okay it seems to help there here four uh, again could get another magpie could get a merchant only one silver I'm going to get another magpie um, so here let's play the rebuild first and the other thing about the cantrips is you don't always have to play them and sometimes you shouldn't so we'll name province it doesn't matter we're just doing that and since what we'd like to do is hit rebuild here it's this is nice so we're gonna get our second rebuild could get a two but there's no two that we want again there would be delve but right now I'm just focusing on the cantrips don't want anything for two um, so here we've seen all of our green cards we're gonna trigger a shuffle we're gonna name duchy to get through as much of that shuffle as possible because we are gonna skip one of our rebuilds as well as the rebuild that we're playing um, so fortunately we got to skip actually quite a lot again we could take another magpie I think we need a little more money now so I'm gonna take a silver uh, there's only one green card in our deck we don't want to skip it we want to hit it we're gonna take uh, one more silver it works better with the magpie and we still need some amount of money so now we're gonna name province because we don't want to hit that we want to hit the estate and here's a, a situation where we don't want to trigger this shuffle because we have this rebuild here so I'm not gonna play this magpie um, if it were a different cantrip then we would play it and now province into duchies we obviously name this we do this we want a third rebuild merchant magpie and we hit six six here's the part in the game where we start to decide between fourth rebuild and a duchy let's see where we are in our shuffle so we've had one rebuild we have um, a second rebuild we just bought so there is a rebuild in these three cards um, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a duchy here so we're gonna name province and do this we're gonna name province again and turn this duchy and now we get our cantrip we hit five again we know that there is a rebuild in these last five cards again we're gonna get a duchy here and now we're gonna name province we're gonna skip a lot of our deck actually not that much as it turns out um, and now there's one silver down there so we have one silver left uh, magpie versus merchant which one is more likely for us to find a rebuild faster I think magpie first or it doesn't make a difference but I can't remember um, so we find this rebuild we have five provinces so note this turn 13 five provinces five duchies gone actually we had that at the end of turn 12 um, that is 50 percent of the VP excluding estates and cemeteries um, so unless our opponent has a big way to gain a lot of those after turn 12 our opponent needs estates and cemeteries to catch up to us and yeah it's very unlikely they're going to be able to have had three provinces three duchies and two cemeteries which is what they would need to overcome us so it's looking pretty good here um, 
here since we only have five provinces we just want to nail a province we're going to name a state we chop that province into province we have five we're going to buy another duchy and turn turn 13 now we have five provinces and a duchy after turn 13 and as you can see um well 33 points how many points what would it take for our opponent to outscore us here two provinces is 12 two more duchies is 18 so they're 15 points down they need then all the cemeteries again really unlikely on most boards including this one so duchy goes into province and here we're just buying an evp we know we don't want to trash anything um, that was just to maximize our short-term vp let's trigger the shuffle and uh, so we're just going to mill the province here. Let's make sure we don't have a province by money. We don't, so we don't want to turn this estate into duchy, or the cemetery into duchy in this case, because uh, that wouldn't let us end the game, and we're just ending the game right here. Anyway, turn 15 with a duchy, a cemetery, and six provinces. Uh, cemetery, I probably should have bought estate since whatever, but I wasn't using it for the points, so it could have been a tunnel or what have you. Um, Okay, ferry, <laughs> ferry normally pretty good. Um, Caravan guard is going to be probably the uh, the cantrip of choice. Hideout, I'm not sure about. Um, conclave is whatever. We're not going to get any terminals. Patron, patron is actually a pretty nice combo with rebuild. Uh, it's a lot better than silver, but right now we're just focusing on the cantrip. So um even at this point we could start to think about caravan guards but i think i'm going to get one more silver first caravan guard in particular now i'm going to get the caravan guard is a pretty nice cantrip um obviously want a second rebuild here but it's a pretty nice cantrip because and now this duchy is our only green card we still want to nail it so we're just going to play like this because it stays out of the way <laughs> um so we're going to get our third rebuild, and we're going to get our fourth rebuild. No question, it's rebuild here, number four. And again, we want to play these rebuilds first here, because uh, we want to have less of a chance of drawing the green card. So we're going to name um, province both times. Actually, if I were to, would have been tracking better, I probably would have named a state first to turn duchy into province, and then named province to hit the estate. Oh, well. Um, well, we're definitely naming province now anyway, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. I'm totally, totally mistaken. It just had to be province both times because what I had were both estates. So my apologies on the poor naming there. We're going to keep taking caravan guards forever, obviously, on three. Um, so now we have a province in two duchies. We're gonna, um, we want to nail both of these things to get back to these two rebuild hand is a good hand. So we want to hit both these green cards. We have one duchy in hand. We're gonna have to trash duchy into province and province twice. So we're gonna name not duchy or province so that we don't end up triggering another uh, shuffle here because we don't want to. So this is duchy into province. We're gonna name a state here to go province into province and we hit five and well, this is one two and then we've discarded two rebuilds so we know there's no rebuilds in this hand um, we could go for rebuild number five i think i'm gonna go ahead and get a duchy i'm gonna get a rebuild i'm gonna get a rebuild this hand is all treasures what is in this hand so we have one silver we've discarded too, so there's no silvers in it. There's no green cards in it. It's just a load of coppers. It's all coppers. Okay. So we're going to get one rebuild this turn and a duchy the next turn, probably. Yeah, five rebuilds is really plenty. So now we're going to turn our duchies into provinces. And again, here we could think about a state depending on the game situation. We have four provinces 
and we've milled a province, our opponent could definitely still come back at this point. Um, we're going to go ahead and buy an estate now, because that's m the most likely game situation that we'd be seeing. And now we could either mill two provinces by naming a state both times, or we could turn an estate into a province. And this is just going to be depending on what the game state is at the time on which we do here. Let's go for the milling plan. And whether we played the caravan guard or not first uh, was dependent on what we knew our draws could be. And as you see here, here before the shuffle, there weren't any rebuilds. So there was no possibility of this caravan card drawing rebuild, which is the card that we want to draw. So we would rather play the rebuild first to increase our chances of drawing rebuild. This is an important point with cantrips for rebuild. Um, again, we're going to buy a state here. And now we're going to end the game by milling the last province out by another estate. Turn 15, got it done. So let's do one more with cantrips, um, just to focus a little bit more on your agency. OK, we don't want beggar. Certainly not turn one. We will take a rebuild. Um, now, dungeon. Um, Dungeon would be okay. Secret Cave, though, is the cantrip we're going to go for, but first we need more money to be able to actually buy more rebuilds. So we want about three silvers in this case, I think. Um, I knew I had the duchy in hand, so I wanted to hit a state regardless, so I could just name anything other than a state. We're going to take our second rebuild here. We're going to take our here we want to skip, we want to hit estate rather than duchy. So this is a perfect draw, is that it was the last card in, in our deck. We're going to take our third rebuild. We're going to be very happy with where we are. And here we're going to take secret cave. Secret cave is nice in that it lets us discard if that's what we need to do. Um, and it gives us money to actually maybe be able to buy province at some moment. So. And then it can stay out of our deck also. So it's a reasonably nice, although not a great cantrip. Obviously, a peddler's going to be better generally. But OK, anyway. Um, and, and dungeon is actually also really good for rebuild, that kind of sifting effect. But again, that's a later episode. So here we have a, a, a province and two duchies in terms of the green cards in our deck. We have one of our duchies in hand. So we definitely want to um, hit both of these cards. And we don't want to trigger a shuffle. So we're not going to name province. We're going to name estate or you know, copper, whatever, um, so that we hit both of these cards and get back to the rebuilds more likely faster. Um, we'll take another secret cave now. And now what we're going to do is hit this duchy. Again, we want to play it before the cantrip there. Um, in this case, we don't want to discard here because five is a good amount. Um, and, well, I guess we should figure out what these last five cards are, actually. So this was the top of a shuffle. We've seen a rebuild. So there's two more rebuilds. No, there's one more rebuild in these five cards. We've seen one, two, three, four coppers. So there's three coppers, a rebuild, and there should be one more duchy. Yeah, so there's a duchy in there. So that's good to know. So we're going to have a rebuild and a duchy in our next hand. Um, wait, is that right? No, we don't have any duchies left. We're going to have a province instead, rather. We don't want to discard. And we're going to take a duchy here so that our rebuild that we know we have in our next hand can turn into a province. Oh, a magic lamp instead of, yeah, my mistake there. And this is a really good draw. Um, is, well, it's a pretty good draw anyway. We're going to take our cave. And it's late enough in the game that we probably want to take duchy again over another rebuild. We know there's two rebuilds in these last eight cards. And we are fortunate enough to get them both here. So we're going to go ahead and not play the cantrip first. We're going to play the rebuild now. And we're going to start turning these duchies into provinces again. We have five duchies in the trash, so 
um, we know that we have five provinces. We're just going to mill one here. Probably should have thought a little bit more about whether what order I was doing that in. And so here we could either discard if that's appropriate and the estate won't make a difference, or we could just buy the estate. Usually you're going to be buying the estate because like we have 50% of the VP anyway. Um, but let's see what this discarding actually does for us. First of all, it makes us more likely to draw rebuild because we're not going to draw the cave. That doesn't really matter because it's a cantrip. Okay, so we got to mill this province here and buy a duchy. So that worked out okay. Anyway, um, this is how cantrips can really help rebuild. Um, obviously, if it's literally just a cantrip that does nothing, then that's not so good. But even something like Pearl Diver, Vagrant's actually not a good one because you generally don't want to be drawing your green cards. Even something as simple as Pearl Diver, knowing what the bottom card of your deck is, sometimes you want to leave it there because you want to skip through your deck and nail it. That's good. Um, but if it was literally just a cantrip that has no text, so um, I'm trying to think of a very meaningless cantrip, but they usually all have at least something that they're doing for you. Um, they can all be good, especially because there's diminishing returns on those silvers at some point, because you're not hitting 8, and after a certain point hitting 5 again, yeah, it helps, but not so much. And because the rebuild is cleaning your deck of a green card for the cantrips, the cantrips are a little bit better than they normally would otherwise be, so it doesn't take much of a benefit to the cantrip for it to be good. Probably straight up village is not worth adding, I guess that's a good example. So you don't have any terminals that you've added to your deck, straight up village is, is not worth getting uh, over silver. It is worth getting over nothing because you can again choose to not play it in certain circumstances and choose to play it in other circumstances, but um, yeah, usually you're not getting nothing over silver very much, so straight up village is probably the best, best example of a cantrip that's not helpful, but in general they are. Um, so this has been episode two, and join me next time when we go deeper into exploring uh, rebuild strategies in non-mirrors. Thanks for watching.